back to vlogs. I love how right now you can see two of our Christmas trees in the footage. One right here, one over there. It's the best ever. We've actually been doing a lot of our Christmas wrapping and we're having a Christmas party with our friends on Saturday. So we're gonna show and off our wrapping skills, breaking out into a song. We're gonna rap to them? Yeah. No, we're not gonna do that. Different kind of wrapping. I different think. kind of wrapping. So we made these cute little like giveaways. Well, Ty put them together, but I found them online. And we filled them with little like Christmas candy. So everyone's getting like a little gingerbread house, which I think is so cute. Yeah, but it's not real gingerbread though. So. You can't eat it. Well, you can. It won't taste good. Physically you can, but yeah. you shouldn't, you shouldn't. And then we have all kinds of gifts under our tree that Ty put out. Look at that. And what's amazing is that the dogs haven't like, oh, oh, hello. The dogs haven't attacked them and I thought for sure, I love how he just wants to be in the footage. I thought for sure they would go for them, but they haven't which is amazing, so I hope it stays that way. So, in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be unboxing the Suzy Sad Eyes doll. This took forever to come in because I posted that main channel video like three weeks ago. So I hope the hype is still there. I hope you're still interested because she just came in the mail. I was just this thinking past three week. weeks as a long time. It's just ridiculous. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable? Unacceptable. I can't unbox dolls that late. I love how I'm sitting in front of all these gingerbread houses. Mm -hmm. See, I, I remember back in the day. I know. Here it goes. We're going full old man bean. I just called myself bean. I don't even call myself my own name anymore. <laughs> you are bean. Uh, I remember when you know, you'd order something, it would show up like four months later, and that was good. 2000s? Not early 2000s. Like if you ordered something internationally, it took forever. Yeah. And now, if we don't get it within three days. How dare they, three what, weeks? What is the holiday rush? Like, <laughs> it's not like everyone in the postal service is horribly overworked because they're trying to take care of such a huge influx of things. But, here it is. There it is. If you think I'm gonna be the one touching it, you're sorely <laughs> okay. mistaken. I will open it. It'll be me. So if you have not seen my main channel video, go watch it first because it tells you all about Susie Sad Eyes. I won't be getting into all that history right now. Just to give you like a brief summary, they were made in the 1960s and they were soon after discontinued because kids found them too scary because the eyes were huge and kids weren't used to that in dolls. So we're gonna see, I got the original 1960s doll. She's in her little coffin box. I love how it's literally doll sized. Or singular shoe sized. Just one shoe. Just one Someone shoe. Someone ordered one shoe and then put the doll in. What's funny is that, so this was delivered to my parents' house and my dad got it and had no idea what it was. So he opened it and then texted me and he's like, why is there a creepy doll at my house? And I'm like, that's for our vlogs, dad. Put it back in the box. You sure you're just not looping them in on the tradition of just random dolls showing up at places? I love to scare them. So I love how he rewrapped it for me. <laughs> so we haven't seen this yet. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be. Here we go. It looks like you just got a burrito from eBay. Yeah. Ew, could you imagine? Three weeks later. Oh, she's in a little raincoat. She smells like she came from the 1960s. No offense anyone born in that time. I just meant like it, this there, has there never was a been certain, washed. <laughs> there was a certain smell from the 60s. Eh? Anyone born in the 1960s? No, I'm kidding. Obviously you guys wash yourselves. This has not been washed, but it's actually in really good condition. Like the hair is really silky. And what's so interesting about these dolls is that they purposely made their under eye bags show. Like you can see they're either like gray or black or green. In this case, they're kind of green. The break, dolls break, break closer. Come were on. made to look tired, haggard, a little disheveled. And that's what was so strange about them and why people like them. And like, to me, it looks like something from Tim Burton, don't you think? I don't know. It just looks like a Tim Burton character. See, I feel like this just hits too close to home for people and that's probably why they didn't like it. Obviously. I think you want a doll like, you know, that's beautiful, you know, and all jazzed up and whatnot. Awake. And like, looks like they have a lot of hope for this world. Yeah. But you know, this one is just like, it's you know what? Relatable. This holds like two 10 hour shifts, like back to back in like a single day, they're just done. She's working herself silly. This looks like it could be Coraline's friend. Cause it's a raincoat. If it was yellow, that would have been awesome. Anyway, there's not much to do with this doll because all we can really do is unbox her and look at her. But I do like her a lot. I wasn't expecting her to be so small, but she's very cute. I love owning dolls from the 60s. It's like a little mini you, if you had bangs. Did I just order my doppelganger? Without knowing? Oh no. my gosh, for Halloween, I can dress up like her and have my mini me. You could. I might do that. Anyway, 
Comment down below, if you got this as a kid, would you find it scary or would you cherish it? Because when I was a kid, I wasn't super into the creepy until I was like maybe nine years old. So if I got this at like six or seven, I don't know. I'd be like, mom, why does she look so sick? Anyways though, there's Susie Sad Eyes. Guys, I have a video about advent calendars going up probably the day after you watch this. And we have so many advent calendars. It's crazy. We both have these after eight advent calendars and they're like our favorite. We get them every year. And then Ty has, I can't even lift it, Reese's Pieces, which you probably had already today. Did you? Of course you did. He has one in the morning and one at night. I like to have mine at night because it's chocolate. And then I have my Lindor one. So we each have two because we're crazy. What I like but. to say, we've been trying to be as paleo as possible. And for any of our friends seeing this, advent calendars don't count. Yeah, so <laughs> we are on paleo for our health stuff, but yeah, we had to have an advent calendar. So that's like our only thing because paleo is no dairy, wheat, or sugar. Obviously there's sugar and I think dairy and chocolate. There's literally everything in chocolate. So that's the only thing we're having, but just, uh, that's just, it. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna dislike me a little bit for this, kiddo. Did I get a piece of chip on there? Yeah, there's a piece of chip on your nose. <laughs> I was just having chips. I saw this TikToker having tortilla chips dipped in egg salad. I know it probably sounds gross, but it's so good. And so I have it like every single day and uh, I have a chip on my nose, which is gone now. Thanks, Ty. You're welcome. Um, anyway, I just want to let you know that on December 17th, I'm having a free meet and greet. There's no tickets, no fees, nothing. It's going to be at our Peculiar Place store. So but I mean, if you want to show up a song and dance, we won't say no. Yes. We won't. Then you'll we'll, definitely we'll, we'll get entry. That. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put a link down below in the description to give you like the address of the store all the information, how to find it, stuff like that. But December 17th, between the hours of 1 p.m. and 4 p.m., that's when I will be there, so show up anytime. And yeah, can't wait to meet you guys, but I hope you enjoyed this little vlog, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye! Really the worst time to turn the camera towards me, you know what I'm saying?